Hello, welcome to today's video guys. So today we're going to be looking at importing and exporting video out of uh, Final Cut Pro for your iPad. So if you don't already have a project, you need to create a new one and you'll create the new project. You'll need to uh, name that project. And when you're done naming it, you'll go ahead and click continue. You need to select where you're going to get your video from. In this case, we're going to use files, and which is the Apple file program. And then you'll just go through, you'll select all the clips that are relevant for your project. And if you don't, if you know, you just go through, make sure you have them all, click open. That'll take a little bit, but then it'll import all your clips. Go ahead and then do your edit, make your movie. Um, you can also click the import button there on the top and click files or photos. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and you can use files, but I don't need any more. You can also record a clip right from the iPad. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and make a movie. So we're gonna add a couple of uh, clips to the to the uh, timeline here. And kind of get those situated and you know, you just work and massage it, make your edit. Um, and then when you are finished up with your edit, after making sure all your clips are lined up, you don't have any black space, you want to go ahead and export your video. Now you have a few different options. You have just video, you have audio only, and you'll use the audio only if you're going to do like a podcast. You can do a current frame, which I usually use that for, um, you know, thumb the, the video thumbnails. But in this case, we're going to use video. Um and the video will export both audio and video. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And you wanna be sure that you're doing video and audio, unless you need the just the video for whatever reason. But uh, I always try to do the highest quality. I'm using the Apple ProRes and color space. We're gonna resolution, you need to set that. But this in this case, this is gonna be 4K. And this will take a little bit depending on your iPad. But I believe, the M1s, man, they're fast. So it only takes a, a little bit to get this fully exported. Okay, we're wrapping up the export here. Now this is going to, you can do this a couple of different ways. You can send it to somebody, um, but then you can just click save, save it, and it'll go into your files. So hope this helps, and you guys have a great day.